Hey there guys, I'm the Tech Prepper. Hope you're all doing well. I want to share with you a project that I'm working on. Yeah, this is related to the DMR series and I'm a bit behind on getting you really the first video on the Anytone 878 and how to program it from first principles. But I want to share with you a project that is taking my attention. I'm working on a DMR on the commercial radio side because I believe it's more powerful and I'm using the Motorola Moto Turbo line. Now I have just written some really cool software and I want to walk you through kind of what I'm doing here. So in the Motorola world, or at least on the Moto Turbo side, they have this concept of a control station and all it is is a radio connected to a computer via the USB cable or over Bluetooth and it runs some software, uh, usually dispatch software. So I've written a little program literally just about 10 minutes ago called ARS and it is an implementation of Motorola's uh, automatic registration service. So we're going to go ahead and start this and I do apologize about the uh, focus here and it's going to listen on port 4005. So what I want to be able to do is I've configured my field radios. When I turn them on, what's going to happen is they will send a message out over the air to this radio ID and basically say, hey, I'm online. So it's a way for me in the field to know which operators come and go. And when that happens, I should see the radio ID for this guy, which is, I believe, 101 pop up on the screen. So it says it's just joined. And then to make things fun, I had my software uh, go ahead and send it back a welcome message. So it gives me a two-way response. We can do the same thing here with uh, this radio, which I believe is radio three. Let's turn this guy on. Yep. So again, within about 30 seconds or less, we should see a second message saying like radio ID three with IP address has just joined. And then we also get the message. So I'm targeting basically search and rescue applications, uh, community emergency response teams, mutual assistance groups. And the vision is uh, coupled with some earlier experiments I did with GPS that this system will look something like this high level design where I basically can see a list of all the stations in the right. And then when I go ahead and for example, click on uh, one of the stations like this guy, I'll also get a list of uh, all of its breadcrumbs, uh, its GPS coordinates, and get a list of information uh, right down to its location. And then I have the ability to send it messages to other points of interest. And everything happens with just this control station and sending messages just to these guys in the field. So I'm brand new to all of this, but if you are a small uh, community emergency response team, a small search and rescue group, uh, my vision for this and what I've been pretty much working on every day for the last couple of weeks has been to able to have what I'm calling this tactical awareness map. This will be commercial at some point and has the ability to track vehicles, people, uh, mobile locations, even aircraft using uh, the SDR um, basically um, ADSB beacons. So just a quick update I'm working on. Uh, it's been real fun trying to reverse engineer, engineer Motorola's protocol for ARS. So reading lots of hex dumps here and just deducing what everything does and then writing everything in Java uh, right down to some of the unit tests. So just a quick update, be strong, be safe, and be prepared. Oh, also, if you're not supporting me on Buy Me A Coffee, um, you probably should consider it if you guys want some cool stuff. Uh, we're just about to release just 20 units of the uh, TTP MCOM Blink Dipole that covers you from 20 meters, 40, 60, 75, and 80. And they'll be coming with uh, free patches while supplies last and a few other goodies. Again, uh, these are typically very difficult for even the members to get because I can only do about 20 units per month. But uh, that'll be going out to the silver members, uh, the option of first refusal to get that uh, this Friday. All right. See you guys. Bye.